Ants are small, but they are insects that cannot be underestimated. The perfect combination of ants makes many species fear this wild animal. A wasp entered the ant colony. At first, the wasp only attacked one ant, but was surrounded by a whole swarm of ants. Although the ant is a small species, its social behavior is extremely high. The wasp will be brutally treated by the ants. Ants have two ultimate advantages that help it attack at all its prey, including large animals like pythons. The rocky shore was covered with ants, and the python's decision to come ashore was a bad decision. The image is extremely scary. The whole body of the python is covered with ants. If the python doesn't handle it, it will be killed by the ants. The scorpion is locked in the box with ants. It used its venomous tail to respond, but it didn't work. The scorpion chooses another option, trying to crawl up the smooth side of the box. There is no way to help it to get out of its awkward situation that the ants are increasingly encroaching on it. The scorpion falls. The ant colony is still doing its daily nest building task. However, when they were diligently building the nest, a grasshopper arrived. Even if they hide, the grasshopper will be discovered and attacked by the ants. The ants were busier when transporting the locusts to their burrows. Hardly any species can surpass the unity of ants, including camel spiders. Ants start from the legs of the camel spiders. Camel spiders struggle with ants on their feet, but they cling too tightly. If nothing happens, in a little while the camel spider will be defeated. Ants and bees are two insects that encounter each other frequently in the natural world. The battle between the two sides is quite quiet. The ants attack continuously. They separate each bee from the hive and destroy it. The ants are very systematic. Ants have an extremely high social organization, concentrated mainly in tropical and subtropical regions. Their unity defeated a centipede. While they were carrying the goods back to the nest, the mantis appeared. The mantis was originally going to eat the ants, but was attacked by the ants in return. The ants climbed onto the mantis's body and used their numbers to overwhelm the opponent. The mantis perished. OMG, a giant super nest of ants. A swarm of cockroaches put to the test. Between cockroaches and ants, which species will win? The situation is not so good. The ants are dominating more. The cockroaches are completely lost. The crab is a creature with an extremely tough outer shell, which helps it protect itself. Faced with aggressive ants, is the crab as steady as ever? Although the crab has a solid shell, it does not cover all of the crab. Clever ants take advantage of these loopholes and attack it. Ants and mantises locked in a big box. At first, the mantis used its long legs to scare away the ants. 
Mantis can only kill one ant, but it also has to die. North America's most venomous scorpion, Arizona the Hairy Scorpion, encounters a rival Black Widow spider. The most feared of insects in the world fought to the death. Which one won? The spider uses the skill of weaving skillfully to neutralize the poisonous scorpion legs. With this move, the Black Widow spider won a half of this battle. Fast-footed spider that freezes mother scorpion and wins. The spider is the target of the ant today. At first, the spider resisted fiercely. But before the onslaught of ants, it fell. Favorable ants bring spiders back to the burrow. The grasshopper is directly facing the three ants. At first, the grasshopper evades the attacks well. However, it accidentally let the ant attack the leg, reducing its ability to move. Three ants kill the grasshopper. Ants reside on green leaves, but the scorpion seems to despise it. The ants begin to surround themselves all over the scorpion's body. Even if the scorpion has more legs than it does, it won't be able to drive away all these hundreds of ants. The venomous tail of the scorpion, the scorpion's last line of defense, is also destroyed by the ants. A snail has lost its shell, revealing its full flesh to the outside as a lucrative bait to the ants. The ants are coming more and more day by day. The ants flock in droves, easily infiltrating the flesh of their prey. The slow snail can't do anything to fight back for life. The ants are immersed in it. Ants can destroy animals much larger than themselves. But it still has a natural enemy, its termites. With its two sharp pincers, the termite is like an ant guillotine. Even so, apart from the sharp claws, the ants can still focus on attacking other parts of the termite. Ants are omnivores. There are few species that it cannot eat. People put a worm in a box containing ants. This smart worm knows how to make use of tiny pebbles to make a solid armor for him. No matter how hard he struggled, the worm could not separate the ant from his body. Two bees fighting is an opportunity for ants to attack. Two ants separate one and then attack. They fight madly and in inconclusive. Wasp, a cockroach's nightmare because they uses the cockroach's body to grow and develop. After controlling the cockroach, the wasp will inject venom into it. When the cockroach is stung with the venom, it becomes semi-conscious, like being hypnotized. As a result, the cockroach becomes a slave to the wasp. The distinguishing features of the ant is that they are highly social and are the most numerous in nature. Thanks to the advantages, they can hunt prey many times more than themselves. We hope that you've really enjoyed and found interesting and useful values from the gecko. We'll continue to bring you exciting stories. 
information and experiences about the animal world in the future. Thank you for accompanying us.